right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, sorry again for missing yesterday. I was busy with some other stuff, but let's get into this news. It's kind of old now, about two days. A Texas store clerk is fortunate to be alive after a shootout with a robbery uh, suspect, suspect who whose bullet missed the armed employee by inches before he returned deadly fire, police say. Um, he reportedly attempted to pass $20 counterfeit bills at a corner shop in Houston before opening fire on an employee. Sounds like a George Floyd type deal. Uh, the clerk called out the fake currency and then the inspector made his way into the clerk's secured area. Um, citing police who believe the gunman's fired at least once, uh, missing the clerk by just inches. The shot worker, uh, shot worker pulled out his own firearm and shot the assailant multiple times, killing him dead. <clears throat> Video of California uh, shows an angry white liberal try and tackle a woke black man for tearing down an angry white liberal try and tackle a woke black man for tearing down Black Lives Matter signs plastered over the mesh fence across the street. Why are you tearing them down? He asked. Um, I'm tired of seeing it on the fence. The man as he ripped down the BLM signs because I have uh, I live right here and I'm sick of fucking seeing it. <laughs> That's when the white liberal subtly attempted to tackle a man yelling, don't tear that shit down, get the fuck out of here. Even though he's black, it's not about being black or racism. Uh, this is my fucking block, bro. Uh, the danger white liberal shouts at the black man who restrains himself and black backs away from the confrontation. The irony of a white man who supposedly supports Black Lives Matter uh, beatering a black man who is not lost on social... Uh, yeah, who is not lost on social media. Ugh just ridiculous and it's just gonna get crazier and crazier this wasn't a huge, super big story but trust me things are gonna get worse from here I bet we're gonna see some action coming out of um, some things are gonna, gonna be going down in, in Israel pretty soon some news with that I mean 2020 is it's just gonna be crazy it's hindsight we're gonna have war with China India's ready to start war with China I mean China's basically trying to take it <coughs> over their lands and every time the, the the Indians just stand up to them, and they, I mean they're ready for war, and so I really support India. Um, and then there's just going to be stuff happening with Israel. I can already sense it. I mean they tried to start World War Three like two years ago, um, and I I support Israel just because it's so much like America. I know it's done some bad things. I mean it like radiated kids. Yeah, it has caught, been caught funding um, terrorist organizations. Uh, just like the U.S. has, but that's not the country of Israel. That's not the United States. That's different factions. It's a democracy. It has that type of thing. And saying it's Zionist and it runs the world, well, I mean, America's that way too because we fought the Nazis, and I've gone into how the Nazis were set up as well by Jews who do run the world, individuals, not the whole Jewish religion. Um, so it's just a mental illness and it, it, it's really hard to understand and and then, and then they're going after Netanyahu and that's going after Trump and Trump supports Israel thank God um, but it's not worse where all the globalists hide out all the Jews aren't evil and bad it's just crazy it's wild um, like I stress good versus evil that's all it is and every country has its problems um, America has, has its problems because of corruption and bad people running it uh, same with Israel. But you're not going to just destroy the whole country and a bunch of innocent Jews and innocent people and men, women, and children. It's ridiculous. Go after the people who have hijacked their country, who have hijacked our country, and other, every other country, and then you'll put an end to it.